Hey guys, welcome back to TechIt and another tutorial. So this time we're going to have a look at some frame motors. Now these things are part of the Red Power mod and they are probably one of the most versatile things in, in Red Power so you can do so many things with it. So I'll just show you one example here. This is sort of a, a horizontal sliding door. I've got a massive one in my um, my world and you can actually do that with it. Now how cool is that? So that's just one example. You can make hot air balloons with it. You, you can do s anything with it, really. Um, so let's uh, start by plonking down a crafting table. And I'll just show you what you need. Now, I showed you how to make solar panels and, and a blue alloy wire in another tutorial, so I'm not going to go over that. Uh, same with the red alloy wire. Um, been over that, so if you want to know how that works and how to make those, watch my other videos, subscribe to me, you can see them. So, for this we need two items only, and that's pretty awesome. So we need the frame motor itself, and then the support frames. And the frame motor is, is a pain to make. <laughs> so you need some iron, uh, some blue alloy ingots, that's not a problem, some brass, all good. And then you need this thing, a blue electric motor. Now that one is made by using again iron and blue alloy ingots and some copper coils. Now these are made by using iron bars, some iron and some fine copper wire. And these are made by using copper and a diamond draw plate. And then that is made by using the iron panel strips and the diamond panel. So these are just made with a diamond hand saw. Uh, again, if you haven't you know, seen uh, how to make this before, subscribe to me, I showed you how to do this. And let's also get some covers, and we'll get two different ones just to show you how everything works. And of course we need a screwdriver. Uh, we'll get that later. So first of all, the frame motors need to be powered. So let's just, uh, let's go crazy, you know, let's make sure we have enough power so that we can easily do this tutorial. Uh, hook it up to the frame motor. Now, be careful how you place this, because at least in, in the build I'm using, uh, let me just get my screwdriver. It really depends on the location, so you would imagine, you would think that you could do that, and then use a screwdriver to sort of, oh, to sort of move them around, but you can't. It only moves the f arrows, which is a little bit annoying. So if you want to have something on top of the frame motor moving, make it like that. So for this tutorial, we want to move something, let's say that way. And also we want to have be able to move it back that way. So we power that as well. Now these little blue lights here, they show if the motor is f uh, powered or not, which is a little bit of a pain, but you can see it. Now the next item we made was these support frames. Now these are pretty cool. They're very, very cool. So anything that is attached to these will move with when you move this. So let's just do it like this, okay, shall we? Let's uh, let's do this a little bit easier so that we don't have as much mess. Sounds like a better idea. So we just hook this up. Like that. So these are powered now, as you can see. They're so if we... Let's plunk down a button somewhere here. That's, that's horrible looking. Button on it that back there and just sort of power that. Now already be careful because this support frame is touching this cable. So it's not going to move. And that is sort of a, I wouldn't call it a problem but it, it's just something you have to be careful with. Now to change that and we'll do that straight away you can use covers and you can place these inside of the support frame like that. Now what this will do is tell the support uh, support frame not to attach to anything under it or if you put a support frame on the side it'll tell it not to attach to anything ne next to it. So if I don't have a cover there and I put a block there and then I power it which I should now be able to do maybe <laughs> work. There we go. This block moves with it. So if I press it again, it's going to move another one block over and again another one block over. 
Now, you don't need these support frames, so if I power it again, this will still work, even though this is not a support frame. Um, but it doesn't, I, I'm pretty sure it doesn't move this block then because these are not attached. Cool. So that's one part. Let's do the other one as well, uh, just for good measure. Uh, let's first sort of put the covers in here as well. Go. And then we can sort of hook that up. Maybe to. Uh, what's the same line here? And I'll do. Put a button on it. Just do that for good measure. And this will move it back. Nice. Now, that is sort of the basics of, of the frame motor and how to use it. Um, it looks very simple and it looks like you can't really do much with it, you know. But you'd be wrong. You could do a lot with this. Now, as an example, we could put some more covers here, for example. Uh, sorry, some more support frames here. And we could put another frame motor there. And we can put. Uh, should we power that? Yeah, we should power that again, uh, which is a little bit of a pain. We don't need. Let's not use the ruby blocks. Eh, can't put this on there yet. So we'll just do it ugly for now. I mean, I just want to show you how it works. Um, toot, toot. I think three is enough to power it. I think. So now that's powered as well. And now, if we just um, put some covers here. If we put a, let's put it here, button there. And then we could make another tower here. For example, this way. Now we have this whole setup that is completely bonkers. So that doesn't work anymore because of these Ys. Um, so you'd have to go one more up. Should we do that? Yeah, why not? Why not? Doink. Um. That doesn't move because. Let's try now, shall we? Still doesn't move. So this is another problem with. Uh, frame motors is you don't get any feedback of why they don't work. See, so now they work. Why? Because I have one cover here. So it's a bit finicky at times to play with because they don't always give you good, well not always, they never give you any feedback to what you're doing wrong or right. But usually with a bit of fiddling around you, you, can, get, you can get to it, you know. So does that still work? That's, I think, the best solution. Just keep trying it, you know, and, and if it doesn't work, just fix it. So let's put the frame motor here again, and let's see if that works then. So we'll power it. And you can see the lights coming on after a while, although it's getting dark, so. Um, it's very hard to notice, to see if it's working or not. Uh, so this one, let's move it that way. You can see the arrows pointing. Well, you can't see it that way. And we wire that up a little bit. Put a button on it. Does that work? Nope, because we didn't do that. And that still doesn't work because I didn't put covers in them. So because I didn't put a cover on this in the bottom, it's connecting to that wire. And you can move that, so it's a bit finicky, you know. So let's try that. That works. So you really have to sort of experiment a bit. So just think about the possibilities you can do now. So I can move this like that. Um, I broke that because I didn't set it up properly. And you can have this moving that way, and that breaks that. And these wires, you can move wires, but not like this. You have to do it a different way. I'll show you that later. But this is sort of how you make all the hot air balloons and stuff. You just have 
um, frame motor on frame motor on frame motor and it's, it's just great you know um, so that's one example that I have here of the sliding doors and I'll probably be the next tutorial of how to make these which is pretty cool so yeah look out for that tutorial uh, I'll probably be uh, the next uh, next episode on this so I'll see you guys then